I'm not gonna let you come between me and Jason again. I don't wanna come between you and Jason. Oh, Sam, we're friends. Please, Carly, really? You asked me to be Scout's godmother for Jason because Jason wanted you to feel important. I mean, God forbid if you weren't front and center in our lives, but really, I mean, really, Carly, when did we truly become friends? It's been a while now, Sam. Oh. You're lying. You can't help it. You grit your teeth just to put up with me. Why would I do that? Because you love Jason. And Jason insisted that he loved me, so once you saw that you were losing that battle, that if you actually asked Jason to choose, he would choose me, you had to switch your tactics, didn't you? You had to pretend to warm up to me. Guess what, Carly? Look at him. He can't hear you. He can't watch you put on this act. So you can stop pretending already. No one knows better than I do what you're going through right now. I went through it with Michael. I know how painful it is to sit next to that bed and be so desperate that he opens his eyes. For you have to listen to me, Sam. Jason would not want to be hooked up to those machines. He wouldn't want you shackled to that bed, and he would not want his kids to see him like that. Of course you would know, because you're the authority on Jason. It's not what I'm saying. You just implied it with every breath. Sam, I am only trying to help you. I was the acceptable one, right? What are you talking about? The one woman that you could tolerate. Because deep down, you thought Jason and Sonny belonged to you, that you would always, you would always be first. That's ridiculous. And I was okay with it. So I meant that you were okay with it too. I mean, it's true, Carly. You didn't fight Jason, not because you didn't like me or, or you thought that I was good enough for him. You didn't, you didn't fight him because you knew I was willing to take second place. Sam. And when, it, when he came back, things, things are different, aren't they? Yes, of course they're different. I mean, different for you. Because he's not running around cleaning up your mess anymore. He's focused on me and he's focused on my family. As well as he should be, Sam. And it's killing you, isn't it? Because you can't be honest with him. You're afraid he's going to hate you. So instead, you pretend to be my friend. If I'm not your friend, why did I cover your ass? I'm sorry. No, I'm... No, you're right. I'm I didn't so like sorry. you. I didn't like you. I had to learn. And not only did I come to like you, I, I, I came to love you. For who you are to Jason, for who you are to your kids, and for who you are to me. And you might not believe this, but as bad as it is for me that Jason's lying in that bed, I know it's a hundred times worse for you. I know that. You need to spend some time with your mom. No, wait, Carly. It's okay. Just, no, no, it's We're just good. I, I, I love you too. I don't want to be the prying mom, but as an attorney, whatever Carly is covering up for you, you think I should know about it? Have you? Uh... <sighs> hey! Where are you going? Is it, is it Jason? No, it's the same. It's just... I just blew up at Sam, and I can't believe I did that. What happened? She's terrified and scared, and she started going off on my relationship with Jason, saying that I think he belongs to me and I'm just pretending to be her friend. Well, we, we both know that's not how she feels. That's the fear talking. I know, but why did I let it get to me? Because you're scared for Jason like we all are. As far as I can see, you, you did Sam a favor. She needed to scream at someone. She felt you were strong enough to take it. But I didn't have to scream back. Sam's a fighter. Last thing a fighter wants is someone to handle them with kick gloves. She lashed out. You hit back. That's what she needed. <laughs>